This 50 centimeter long tongue can freely navigate through a termite nest. It belongs to a giant anteater whose tongue can flick in and out at a speed of 150 times per minute. However, licking termites from narrow openings is no longer enough to satisfy its hunger. It starts to tear apart the termite mound with its claws. Despite the destructive approach, it carefully avoids damaging the essential structure of the nest to ensure the safety of the queen. Once the termite population in the nest recovers, it can return to feed again, even after the mound has been disturbed. The termite situation becomes extremely perilous. The worker ants swarm out, using saliva mixed with dirt to rebuild the nest. Underground, the termite colony can extend for miles. The queen's chamber remains completely unharmed, often surrounded by the king ants, though their role is solely to reproduce. The true ruler of this underground kingdom is the queen, with her massive, bloated body housing enormous ovaries that allow her to lay eggs nonstop. On average, she lays an egg every three seconds. Before long, she will replenish the losses caused by the anteater, and for the next 25 years, she will continue to lay eggs around the clock. On average, she lays an egg every three seconds. Before long, she will replace the losses caused by the anteater. For the next 25 years, she will continue to lay eggs around the clock. In her lifetime, the queen can lay up to 250 million eggs. No other species in the natural world can compare. In this underground kingdom, all the termites are her offspring. To coordinate the operation of this vast empire, she issues chemical signals that determine the role of each termite in the colony. Worker ants tirelessly clean her body and provide her with ample food. The eggs laid by the queen are carried by specific worker ants to the nursery chambers, where they are carefully tended and incubated. This is an endless task, some chambers of the nest. Special chambers are dedicated to growing food, where the worker ants cultivate small white fungi. This fungus serves as a food source for the colony's future. However, not all termites are mere slaves in this kingdom. With the arrival of the rainy season, the queen issues new orders, commanding the workers to create new exits on the outer walls of the nest. This is preparation for a significant event. In a special chamber of the nest, a group of termites follows the queen's instructions and grows wings. These winged termites are potential new queens or kings. As dawn breaks, the termites swarm out of the nest, flying with all their might to distant places, ready to establish their own new kingdoms. This journey is fraught with danger, with so many termites emerging together, predators are bound to take notice. However, their sheer numbers are also part of the termites' strategy. Even the hungriest animals have their moments of rest. The survivors will find their lifelong partners, shed their wings, and burrow back underground to establish a new subterranean kingdom. This is the world where we explore the unknown and experience the wonders of all things. Thank you for your attention.